treatment is spraying everywhere and it's kind of weak. To me, that means that the, if you take a hose, hose, the water can come straight out of the hose, but if you clamp the hose, it sprays everywhere, right? So I'm thinking that urethra is still kind of closed. You're not getting full expansion and lengthening and opening through that urethra. Slow stream, same thing, and then incomplete empty, or like a stop and go stream. Pee a little bit, then it stops. Pee a little bit, then it stops. So something's not fully relaxing, allowing everything to get out. All right, so overactive bladder is defined as urinary urgency and frequency through feelings of incomplete voiding with or without incontinence. 60% um, just have urinary urgency and frequency, and the other 40% also have incontinence with it. 11 million Americans, a lot of them. So what is urgency and frequency? So urgency is a strong desire to void. Sometimes this can be um, based on triggers. So common trigger is I can find, I don't have to pee. All of a sudden I'm walking up to the door and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't open my front door fast enough and get to my bathroom fast enough, right? That's a trigger. You, here you didn't have to go. Here you really had to go, right? So we've trained our brain to send a signal to our bladder to contract every time we get to the front door. That happens also when, um, People say when they put their hand in warm water, when you're watching a movie with the, like the Titanic and it's a ton of water. If you're associating those things with, with peeing, then every time you see those things, your, bladder, your brain is going to tell your bladder to go to the bathroom. Okay? Um, irritated bladder lining. So our, bladder, our, our urine is acidic just naturally. Okay? So if we're not drinking enough water, we are not diluting the acidity of the urine. Or if we're, if we're having like a ton of acidic foods and not enough water, even worse, um, our urine becomes very, very acidic. And because the inside of the bladder has a nice mucosal lining, almost like the inside of our mouth is mucosal lining, when it's very acidic, that can start eating away the mucosal lining, okay? That is painful. Your bladder doesn't like it. Your bladder's going to start contracting. So that's another reason for a lot of urgency is if you're not drinking enough water to so dilute your urine, um, and if you're eating a lot of bladder irritants, and we have a whole slide on bladder irritants later, okay? And an excessive signaling of the contract of the detrusor contracting um, could be from both of those things, or could just be from training. So incontinence. There's four different types of incontinence. There's urge incontinence, stress incontinence, mixed incontinence, and overflow. Overflow is a neurological problem. We're not going to talk about that today. So urge incontinence. Urge incontinence is when you become incontinent um, during or just after you've had a very strong urge. So same thing, walking up to the door, opening it, also, oh my gosh, you really got to go, and then I leak a little. That's urge incontinence, okay? So sometimes it could be because the bladder is uninhibited, so the detrusor is just contracting all the time. That's a neurological problem. Sometimes we talked about the sensory triggers and... Um, Sorry, that that's covered. The sensory triggers that could be like the the uh, the water um, going to the door. Um, sometimes it could be poor bladder training. You're jicking all the time, and therefore you trained your bladder to just contract when at a certain level of urine within the bladder.